Welcome back, it's the Clay Golan. We're back in Foundry VTT. Uh, and I'm looking at traps again. I know, I've got a bit obsessed with these. Um, <laughs> in the last video, we were looking at setting up our puffball traps using Monk's um, active tile triggers, uh, using token attacher to attach them to characters and things. And we got a working puffball thing. Um, character walks over it. They have to make a saving throw. If they fail that saving throw, they take damage. Lovely. Works fine. No drama. However, <laughs> uh, Emerist made a comment on one of the previous videos, actually, when we were talking about originally about traps with Monk's active tile triggers, um, about when we use that harm heal um, effect we to do damage, which is fine, and that works. Can we add to that a damage type such as piercing or poison damage etc because they made the correct comment that a barbarian for example has damage reductions and things like that when it comes to uh, you know um, slashing and piercing damage and things if they're raging what if you've got a dwarf who's getting advantages to saving throws little things like that whereas the heal harm just does flat damage regardless of any of those other things so we need to take it to the next level to take those things into account and i'm talking about poison traps here um where yeah there will be people who have immunities or damage reduction to poison traps and we, we, can we automate that so i've been doing a fair bit of experimenting here now on excuse me little burp there I do apologize uh, <laughs> so professional <laughs> um so on the left here over on this side where you can see sorryman this is the dm screen on the right side over here where you can also see sorryman is a player logged in as sorryman so i want to be able to show both sides of it and what i've been looking at is the different ways of triggering these so if i look at this tile over here i'm over on the left side on the dm one at the moment and if we look at this here um, first of all, I'm going to get rid of pause the game out of this for, for the, this purposes. We've got our same bits about the animation, but the question is around this bit, the attack thing. So we can attack um, and we can select the actor, but then we have some options. So one of the options is selecting the weapon dart, which we've seen and that works. But we've had some issues selecting spells and getting that to work. Uh, and then I came up with a, another solution of creating a weapon to replicate the, the poison spray damage. We'll get to that though. So we've got, do are we selecting a weapon or a spell? And also, are we using the attack action or the use action? And it's not clear what the difference between those are. And I've been using the attack action um, because I want to make because I want to attack that character uh, and it's not necessarily the right thing to do um, so Emerist pointed out that um, in again in that previous video about using the use option can help solve this so I've got all of the show chat cards on here so we're going to get spammed a little bit but I just want to make sure you can see everything so what I want to do is I'm going to as the player walk Sorryman through these different types of trap so they're all basically the same thing i've just modified the way that whether it's a a weapon attack or a weapon use or it's a um a, a spell attack or a spell use so the top left one here the attack method is use the dart weapon okay so let's see how that works uh, and i've color coded these to show you after a reasonable amount of testing here which ones are going to work for us and which ones aren't green ones are going to work so if I walk Sorryman over here, I've got his rage on, by the way. He is raging right now. Uh, need to actually trigger it, of course. Okay, so we trigger this one. We've rolled an 11. I know you're getting duplicates on either side. But you can see that that is automatically rolling the attack. It automatically rolls the damage, even though in this case it didn't hit. So let's do that again. Let's see if we can get a, a, an actual hit on him. No. <laughs> We will, I promise. Let's clear that chat. Q. 
keep it tidy. Like I say I've got all the chat bits on so you can see what's happening, but it, it does get a bit. Right, there we go. No. All right, so we've hit and he took damage. Okay, so uh, on the DM screen, we've got this attack card here. We don't, I wouldn't normally have that showing, but like I say, I said I've got everything switched on so we can see. So this puffball has done a dart attack. It has rolled its attack, it got an 18, shows us a green card that it hit. It then rolled three points of damage and it did apply that to Soriman. Now you may have not seen that because there's a lot going on, but it's actually applied one lot of damage to Soriman because he is raging it has automatically taken that damage reduction into account. So that one works perfectly as we want it to. Um, because there's no saving throw or anything, it just automatically happens when he walks over that. And normally I would have it pause when that happened to stop all the rest of the players blundering into further traps because the chances are they're going to stop and see what's going on. So that works. Happy with that. No drama whatsoever. Uh, because it's going to annoy me, I just want to adjust this one and get rid of the pause for us okay so that is as you can see that is using the use weapon option now if we use the attack with the weapon option let's see what happens here okay so we've rolled to hit uh, he's successfully told us it's hit but because it's an attack roll it's not automatically doing the damage that's not a problem you can you know that might be how you want it so i'm showing you all of these ways because you may want it that way i i don't now if i roll that damage it's done four damage it's not applied it to sorryman so for me the attack with the weapon isn't the way i want it to go okay uh, yeah of course i can yeah absolutely absolutely oh sorryman take four damage they can go and do that fine four traps i want that automated please that's not the way to do it okay so attacks with the use weapon work for us okay right hopefully you're following where i'm going with this and, and and why i'm kind of running through this because again there's so many different ways to... <laughs> sorry man there's so many different ways that we can do different stuff just get rid of that pause out of this one as well if i was a pro i would have prepared that properly but of course i didn't so i'm just going to do these quickly right now stop interrupting the flow okay so over this side We've got basically the same <coughs> the same idea um, where we are attacking with the use option rather than the attack option. And I'll, I'll again, I'll go in and quickly show you what I mean at the end, um, but with using a spell. So here comes Soriman. He walks on the trap. The blinky blink noise is because it's notifying the player that they need to make a saving throw. So interestingly, it's already rolled the damage, but it's not applied it. Soriman over on the right-hand side here is going to make his roll. At this point, Soriman, as the player, is saying whether they're advantage, disadvantage, or normal. I'm going to say disadvantage because I would quite like him to fail. That's a five. Okay, so at disadvantage, it was a five, and Soriman took the damage. Now, we can see that... It says on the top right here, on Soriman's card, that is poison damage. So if he had, we've seen it work with rage, that it's going to halve damage because he's raging. If he had immunities or damage reduction to poison damage, that would work as well because he is trying to apply that damage as poison rather than the heal hurt one, heal harm rather, that just applies the damage regardless. So that one works as well. So use weapon works use spell also works okay good let's clear the log uh let's heal let's hit whoops let's heal poor sorryman up i tell you these sorryman and Haley get quite a kick in don't they okay so let's move on to the next one this is using the attack method for a spell i actually set it off of course Right, completely different. So the player straight away gets a, you must do a constitution saving throw. So they can roll that. I'm going to gain, I'm going to do it at disadvantage. He's got a nine. But of course, uh, he passed it. 
Okay, so we can carry on. Do it again. Disadvantage, please. Oh, come on, for the life of me. It must. I'll get it sooner or later. Okay, once more, disadvantage. Let's see if we can actually fail one, please. Sorry, I mean, a one, love, a one and a three, brilliant. So in this case, it's gone, yes, absolutely, you failed this, but it hasn't rolled any damage automatically. It hasn't applied anything. Over on the DM screen, I need to manually click to roll that damage. It's a two, but again, it's not applied it to Sorryman. So the player is going to manually have to do that and reduce it based on those things. So does it work? Yes, it does. Is it as automated as I want? No, it's not. So we're getting a pattern here. The attack option, whether it's with a weapon or a spell, isn't automating through. So far, the use option with that is working. So one of the other things I wanted to try was, as you can see, I've created another attack and use version at the bottom here. On the, I'm looking on the left here, just under Sorryman. Uh, another attack option with a poison and a attack option, uh, sorry, a use option with poison. Now, when I'm talking about that poison, what I'm referring to is under the actor for Puffball, I created a new weapon called Poison Spray Damage. And if we look at that, all this is <clears throat> on here. I have created this as a weapon attack type saving throw constitution. Its damage formula is 1d12 poison damage. So we know it's going to try and apply poison damage. And of course, I can put in the, um, the, the saving throw that I want here. Actually, let's put in a flat 18 just to make sure Sorryman might fail it <laughs> dang barbarians um, so these are using a weapon i've made up that replicates the saving throw and damage of the spell okay so let's see how this works and see if this is better again for us so i'm on the right here uh, i'm operating sorryman as a player and we're going to walk onto this spell uh, this one over here, which is attack with my poison weapon. And we get the same sort of thing here. While it is an attack with the poison thing, he needs to make a constitution. It says yuck, which is great. Uh, make a constitution saving throw at disadvantage. He fails that. But again, because it's an attack option, it's not automatically rolling and applying damage. So I need to click damage myself as a DM. It rolls a five. It's not applied to Sorryman. So again, I put that one in red, not because it doesn't work, but it doesn't work the way I want it to work. And let's face it, it's all about me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, so what about this one then? Again, we're that use option with that weapon that I created for to replicate the poison cloud. So... Oh, there we go. Went off. So on this, we got the bleepy bleep again. So what we've got here is poison spray. Yuck. Asking for a constitution saving throw. Now I can click it there or I've got the server request here. That's duplicated because I told it to show everything for this purpose. Um, we'll turn that off in a minute. But you can see that it is poison spray. It's rolled its damage. So I'm looking on the right on the middle card here. It's rolled its poison damage. It's got a 12. It's going to be 12 points of poison damage. Sorryman needs to make his roll where he can select whether it's advantage or disadvantage. And he failed it. He took damage. And interestingly enough, now that was strange. It says over here, so I'm looking on this side, he only took half damage there. Why do you only take half damage? Rage doesn't give you advantage against um, poison, does it? Well, there was me thinking I had a perfect solution. <laughs> it never, ever works out the way I want. Um, how strange. Okay, let me try that again. Because uh, I hadn't recognised that when I was... 
doing it when I was doing sort of like practice. Why was it? Let's heal him up again. Why did that decide to do half damage? Okay. Boom. He steps on it. It automatically rolls the damage rolls the damage with rolling disadvantage for the saving throw we get a nine. Oh, it's doing half damage because he made the saving throw that's why you stupid boy <laughs> i mean it, come on it's basic rules isn't it okay so that's good so ev everything's working he's making his saving throw in this case he's taking half damage if he succeeds in a saving throw rather than no damage but that is to do with the way i've set the weapon up not with the active tile trigger so that's surprise surprise that's a me error not a uh, not an issue with the the way we do the tiles um so the way this one is set up the one we were just looking at we play that sound file like we're doing for all of them we show the animation like we saw in a previous video none of that's changed what we've done instead of having the saving throw in here and then apply damage based on that saving throw we've just said switch targets to the triggering token to make sure that whoever set it off is the one that's going to be targeted and then for this attack let's bring up the other card we're attacking the triggering token with the actor my trap puffball using my weapon attack called poison spray damage and we're using that use option now i've got all of these show chat cards on um, I can turn that off and it will make it a little bit more slick. So um, yeah, we won't get quite so much uh, text in our chat box. Now what I do need to do is just double check here. When I created this weapon for him, um, what we have got here is a constitution saving throw. It's going to do 1d12 points of damage, uh, versatile damage, other formula, uh, saving throw. So it, that straight basic rules says it does half damage for us. Um, it's other formula. Now this is where I start thinking on the fly and I don't know the answers and I make myself look idiot. Is the other formula what happens if they make the saving throw? Is it? Is it, is it, is it? Because by default, it's doing half damage because you made it. In this instance, I want it to be no damage. Uh, let's try it. Let's find out. We can do that. Okay. So back to Soriman over here. Oh, let's, let's heal him up again just so it's easier to see when he has or hasn't taken damage. Uh, we're over on the right hand side. Step over here. We set it off first time. Notice the chat card is much less than it was it's telling him he set off a trap it's asking for a saving throw make the saving throw I'm going to do it at disadvantage because i want him to fail he took four points of damage but he did make the saving throw again because he's a barbarian and he's got high constitution <laughs> okay so he took four points of damage he still took half um i'll need to work on making sure that becomes zero okay six points of damage now let's see if he makes the saving throw this time at some point he'll fail it he's not going to fail it is he one more time and then because uh, now you're just watching me play with myself uh, that was really badly phrased apologies for that disadvantage again five points of damage he failed it so he did take the full five points of damage and it's poison damage okay so just a little bit of experiment looking at these um, which ones work and why and it would seem that in every case the use spell or use weapon is the better option for the automation than the attack version although they work they're clunky they're not so slick now one of the things uh, just a little total complete side to that because I renamed my I've got two GM accounts when I log into um, foundry into the app foundry itself i'm logging in using server so it's running in the background but what i've realized of course is every time it asks for a automated role such as a saving throw it's coming from server rather than from the dungeon master so i'm going to update my I'm going to do that right now actually um, i can go into my user management and i'm going to change that server one to be auto dm there we go. 
So now when they come up in the chat card, instead of it saying, oh, the server is asking you to do it, and we can actually already see here on the trap puffball and things at the top, it says auto DM instead. Um, so I can be logged in as the dungeon master um, or in as my name, and then it's quite clear what's auto and what's me. So I hope that was kind of useful. A little experimentation. We're just, again, we're just tidying things up. We're getting better. I know this has been several videos on traps, but it's clearly bugging me. <laughs> I want to get it working the way I want to. And I think this is it. So attack with weapon, attack with spells, um, attack with a spell weapon. Uh, those are all the ways to do it as long as we're using that use option. Uh, this bottom one down here, uh, I just need to solve that problem f when it's saving throw equals no damage rather than half damage. Just need to solve that little little challenge and then this will be done. And that might be a really easy thing to do. I'm probably going to do that off screen. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope this has been interesting. Um, bit of a journey, hey? Um, and Emerist, thank you very much for your comments in the previous video about uh, Monk's Active Tile Triggers, the original trap video um, that's taken me down this rabbit hole and got us to actually a better solution and really understanding that use is better than attack for uh, what we're trying to do. Thanks, everyone. You take care.